Hi, everybody. Uh, this is Tony Parker. I want to welcome you all to the EFT uh, and Law of Attraction workshop for manifesting prosperity, abundance, happiness, <coughs> business, and personal success. Hope you're all having a pleasant evening. And hi. as we all, hi there, as we all kind of uh, get ready, okay, uh, we're going to uh, we're going to do a few exercises, okay. All right, and now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, start off with the gratitude tap as a warm up as uh, as people trickle in. So at the moment, there's just a couple of us on. So we're doing the gratitude tap, which is very easy. What we do is we uh, make a list of things in our life that we're grateful for, and then we tap on them in a very simple way. And uh, so the way we work as a group is each one of us on the group uh, tonight is welcomed, invited to uh, check in and share something they're grateful for, and then we all tap on it together as a group. So who'd like to check in and share something or some aspect of their life that they're grateful for, we can tap on. Go ahead, please. Hi, it's Mimi. Hi, Mimi. Welcome. Hi. I'm grateful for the good people that surround me. Excellent. Very good. Let's all go top of the head. Thank you. Thank you. Eyebrow, thank you. Thank you. Side of the eye, thank you. Thank you. Under the eye, thank you. Thank you. Under the nose, thank you. Thank you. Under the mouth, thank you. Thank you. Collarbone, thank you. Thank you. Under the arm, thank you. Thank you. Karate chop, thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. Let's all take a deep breath. And now release. Okay, very good. Excellent. And uh, now, uh, anybody else want to check in? Well, I guess at the moment I'll check in. Uh, I'm grateful that I've, uh, I've got this uh, wonderful new purchase of mine which is a crock pot, which is a slow cooker. And uh, somebody gave me a beautiful roast chicken, but rather than make a, eat a roast chicken, I decided to make a kind of a chicken soup or chicken stew. So I, I, I chopped up a whole bunch of you know vegetables and herbs and spices, and I put it in this crock pot, this slow cooker. And of course, now the whole house smells of chicken soup. But it, it it's really uh, really smells nice and homey and warm and safe and I really feel grateful. Top of the head, thank you. Thank you. Okay, eyebrow, thank you. Thank you. Side of the eye, thank you. Thank you. Under the eye, thank you. Thank you. Under the nose, thank you. Thank you. Under the mouth, thank you. Thank you. Collarbone, thank you. Thank you. Under the arm, thank you. Thank you. Karate chop, thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. Let's all take a deep breath and our release. Okay. Very good. Excellent. All righty. Uh, anybody else in right now? Oh, doesn't look like it. Okay. All right. So now we'll do the next uh, kind of aspect or way of using the uh, gratitude tap, which is uh, I call cash and prizes where you make a, a list of specific uh, uh, sources of abundance, i.e. Uh, people who have paid us uh, money uh, for our goods and services, employers, uh, uh, customers, clients, collectors, anybody who's either uh, hired us, bought something from us, or, uh, you know, again, we're, we're, you know, paid us, or even rewarded us or given us a gift. OK, and make a list of that and then we tap on them. And that's real law of attraction. That is uh, that is classic law of attraction. And of course, the whole idea is to connect with that feeling, uh, that moment of gratitude, joy, satisfaction, reward, good self-esteem when somebody pays you for something that you've done. And, you know, or whether it's, you know, again, a job or a service or they bought something from you or even somebody who's given you uh, a gift of abundance so and the way we work on the group is if you want to keep it anonymous you can use initials um, you know of course this is a pretty anonymous little group so it's not going to travel very far 
But anyway, uh, who'd like to check in and share a source of abundance? And we'll all tap on it together. Go ahead, please. Oh, it's Mimi. Um, why, why? Okay, very good. Top of the head, thank you. Thank you. Eyebrow, thank you. Thank you. Side of the eye, thank you. Thank you. Under the eye, thank you. Thank you. Under the nose, thank you. Thank you. Under the mouth, thank you. Thank you. Collarbone, thank you. Thank you. Under the arm, thank you. Thank you. Karate chop, thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. Let's all take a deep breath and now release. Okay. Uh, anybody else want to check in with a source of abundance? Somebody who is either an employer or a client or a student or a collector or a customer or even a friend who's given you something. Anybody who's been a source of abundance in your life that you want to recognize and that we can tap on together. Go ahead, please. And you can use initials if you want to keep it anonymous. Okay, well, I'm going to uh, JB. So let's start tapping at the top of the head. Thank, thank you. you. Okay, very good. Eyebrow, thank you. Thank you. Side of the eye, thank you. Thank you. Under the eye, thank you. Thank you. Under the nose, thank you. Mm -hmm. Under the mouth, thank you. Mm -hmm. Collarbone, thank you. Mm -hmm. Under the arm, thank you. Thank you. Karate chop, thank you. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. Let's all take a deep breath and now release. Okay. Uh, anybody else like to check in and say hi and share a source of abundance? We're doing the uh, gratitude tap, but with a specific uh, focus on sources of abundance that we're grateful for. <laughs> Tony, this is Pat, and I'm grateful for J.H. Excellent. Very good. Top of the head, thank you. Thank you. Eyebrow, thank you. Thank you. Side of the eye, thank you. Thank you. Under the eye, thank you. Thank you. Under the nose, thank you. Thank you. Under the mouth, thank you. Thank you. Collarbone, thank you. Thank you. Under the arm, thank you. Thank you. Karate chop, thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. Let's all take a deep breath and now release. Okay. Uh, anybody else want to check in? We're doing a gratitude tap for sources of abundance. You can use initials if you want to keep it anonymous. <laughs> all righty. Okay. Well, again, tonight, that's the gratitude tap. I, I tell people it's cash money in the bank if you do it. If you don't do it, it's costing you money. Uh, I do this every day, and uh, it, it creates a, a field of uh, gratitude and intention, a vortex of gratitude. And I know it, it's the reason I have this steady, I won't call it a stream, but shall we say a steady trickle <laughs> of new clients every day, onesie twosies. And I'm really grateful for them. And everybody, all of my clients deserve uh, a thank you. Uh, uh, and I have a list. And, uh, and when I started, it was barely, uh, you know, uh, I, it, 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 it was, I was embarrassed. I had so few to write it down. Now I, it's probably about 40 pages of clients. So what can I say? All righty. Uh, tonight's topic is using EFT and Law of Attraction to manifest happiness, abundance, prosperity, business, and personal success. Okay, and we're going to be using EFT and Law of Attraction. Uh, I think we'll do a couple more taps to, to, for the warm-up, and then we'll get into some specifics, and everybody gets to check in, okay? All right, next uh, tap we're going to do, uh, which is a classic Law of Attraction, is the uh, what I call the money thermostat. That's a wonderful exercise, okay, uh, and uh, it's uh, very powerful. And, and what it is, is uh, uh, it, it's based on the uh, assumption or the idea that uh, we have a set point uh, level of abundance that we're comfortable with. And, of course, that's okay if we're meeting our needs and we're not under-earning and we're actually, you know, things are all right kind of thing, you know. On the other hand... Uh, you know, if we're not, 
that we need to turn up the thermostat. You know what I mean? Uh, so that's probably so that's it. So it's a really good practice. It's ridiculously easy. And again, it really uh, it activates law of attraction and EFT. It's a great tool. So what we do is we write down on a piece of paper. OK, on the top of the piece of paper, we write down uh, the amount of money we manifested. We earned last year. OK, and immediately under that, we double that amount. OK, we go down about three or four lines, write down the amount of money we made last month. OK, and immediately under that, double that. Now, again, you don't have to be, you know, penny perfect. Uh, you can guesstimate it or, you know, you don't have to be absolutely, absolutely accurate, but you want to be close. OK. All right. Now, go down a few lines, and now you want to write down uh, the amount of money you, you made or manifested last week, okay, from whatever source, okay? And, again, immediately underneath that, double that number. And you go down to the bottom of the page and write down the amount of money you made or manifested yesterday, okay, and immediately underneath that, double it. Okay, so we have four time zones, as it were, or time references last year last month last week and yesterday okay now uh and what i suggest you do is when you're working on your own or working with you know uh, a coach or a tapping buddy uh you use the real numbers okay and you go through each time frame all right now if you're since we're working on a group and we're a little pressed for time uh, we're just going to do last week, last month, and last week, and we're going to be a little vague, okay? Uh, but it's still a very powerful exercise to do as a group. But again, to get more power out of it for yourselves, you want to use the exact numbers when you're tapping by yourself, all right? So now we're going to rub our sore spots or tap on our karate chop, okay? And now just repeat after me. Even though I made what I made last month. Even though I made what I made last month. I choose to make twice what I made last month this month. I choose to make twice what I made last month this month. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Very good. Excellent. So even though I made what I made last month, okay, I set a firm intention. I set a firm intention. To make twice what I made last month this month. Twice what I made last month this month. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Okay, very good. Uh, so even though I made what I made last month. Even though I made what I made last month. Today, right now, I set a firm intention. Today, right now, I set a firm intention. To make twice what I made last month this month. Make twice what I made last month this month. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Okay. You guys hear me okay? Hello? Can you hear me okay? Yes, I can. Okay, good. All right. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Okay? All right. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, so now we'll go top of the head. I choose to make twice what I made last month this month. Choose to make twice what I made last month. Okay, very good. Eyebrow. I deserve to make twice what I made last month this month. Twice what I made last Okay, side so of the eye. I give myself permission to make twice what I made last month this month. Give myself permission to make twice what I made last month. Okay, under the eye. I am willing to make twice what I made last month this month. I'm willing to make twice what I made last month this month. Okay, very good. Under the nose. It's safe for me to make twice what I made last month this month. It's safe for me to make twice what I made last month. Okay, under the mouth. I have the power to make twice what I made last month this month. The power to make twice what I made last month this month. Collarbone. I like the way I feel when I make twice what I made last month this month. I like the way I feel when I make twice what I made last month this month. Very good. On the arm. It's easy for me to make twice what I made last month this month. It's easy for me to make twice what I made last month this month. 
karate chop. So even though I made what I made last month, so even though I made what I made last month, today right now I set a firm intention. Today right now I set a firm intention to make twice what I made last month this month. Make twice what I made last month this month. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Excellent. Very good. Let's all take a deep breath. And now release. Okay. And now uh, we're going to do last week. All right. Now, again, when you're working on your own, what you're, you know, the way you're going to do it is say, even though I made $500 last week, I choose to make $1,000 this week. Okay. I mean, I'm just, you know, using a number here but again do you understand both since we're working as a group we're just going to make it a little vague okay all right so again rubbing your sore spot or tapping on your karate chop even though i made what i made last week even though i made what i made last week i choose to make twice what i made last week this week i choose to make twice what i made last week this week and i deeply and completely love accept and forgive myself anyway I completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Very good. So even though I made what I made last week, even though I made what I made last week, I set a firm intention. I set a firm intention to make twice what I made last week this week. Make twice what I made last week this week. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Excellent. So, uh, so now let's go top of the head. I choose to make twice what I made last week this week. Choose to make twice what I made this week. Eyebrow, I deserve to make twice what I made last week this week. I deserve to make twice what I made last week. Okay, so I, I give myself permission to make twice what I made last week this week. Give myself permission to make twice what I made last week. Okay, under the eye, I am willing to make twice what I made last week this week. I'm willing to make twice what I made last week this week. Okay, under the nose, it's safe for me to make twice what I made last week this week. It's safe for me to make twice what I made last week this week. Okay, under the mouth, I have the power to make twice what I made last week this week. I have the power to make twice what I made last week this week. Collarbone, I like the way it feels when I make twice what I made last week this week. I like the way it feels. Okay, under the arm, it's easy for me to make twice what I made last week this week. Easy for me to make twice what I made last week this week. Karate chop. So even though I made what I made last week. So even though I made what I made last week. Today, right now, I set a firm intention. Today, right now, I set a firm intention. To make twice what I made last week this week. Make twice what I made last week this week. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Excellent. Very good. Take a deep breath. And now release. Okay. Very good. Um, all righty. And now we're going to... Uh, Uh, we're going to do a couple more exercises. Uh, we'll do a Ho'oponopono, which is a nice way to segue into some more serious work. All right. Uh, what we're going to do is a very simple uh, tap. It's based on the uh, Hawaiian uh, healing, releasing, chanting meditation called Ho'oponopono. And I'll, I'll spare you the, you know, the background, but it's all over the Internet. It's a very powerful tool. And when you use it in conjunction with EFT, uh, it has great power, healing power. A lot of people use it for healing, remote healing. It's a very powerful and a great mm -hmm. exercise. And I always like including it in our workshops, even though it's not specifically about abundance. Uh, it's just a nice practice, okay? So let's all start tapping the top of the head and just repeat after me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. sorry. Eyebrow, please forgive me. Please forgive me. So I, I, I forgive you. I forgive you. Under the, I forgive myself. I forgive myself. Under the nose, thank you. Thank you. Under the mouth, I love you. I love you. Collarbone, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Under the, please forgive me. Please forgive me. Karate chop, I forgive you. I forgive you. 
top of the head, I forgive myself. I forgive myself. Eyebrow, thank, thank you. Thank you. Daya, I love you. I love you. Andrea, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Under the nose, please forgive me. Please forgive me. Under the mouth, I forgive you. I forgive you. Collarbone, I forgive myself. I forgive myself. Andrea, thank you. Thank you. Karate Chop, I love you. I love you. Excellent. Very good. All right. There we go. And now we're going to do some more uh, taps. Uh, we're going to do a, a we're going to do a series of exercises every week. I'm going to pick a kind of a theme, and I'm going to suggest that you guys uh, follow along with this tap. And if you can remember, you know, you can remember it. It's pretty easy using our basic statement, our basic setup statement, okay, and our basic uh, recipe, EFT recipe. You do it for a week. And what I'm going to be doing now for the next 52 weeks or 50 odd weeks, maybe a little longer than 52 weeks, but for the next year, each week we're going to have an EFT law of attraction abundance topic and with a tapping script or tapping series that I would, I would strongly recommend everybody, at least including on a daily basis or at least tapping several times. Uh, during the week between our, our sessions. And like I said, each week there'll be a new topic or a new uh, issue to tap on, okay? And now the first, uh, and just to kind of kick it off, this is kind of uh, pretty simple, okay? Uh, and uh, what we're going to do is uh, I'm just going to pick a topic here, uh, and I just want you guys to kind of check in and see if you have any anxiety about your expenses. And I just want you to just say to yourselves right now, uh, I feel anxious about all my ex about all my expenses. Okay, all right. Now you don't necessarily. This may not apply to everybody, but it may apply to at least one or two people out there tonight. Okay. And on a scale of zero to ten, okay, uh, who feels anxious about their expenses or any particular finances at this moment right now? What would be the number, the level of intensity that you feel? Four. Okay, excellent. All right, thank you for sharing. All right, so now what we're going to do, uh, we're going to just, uh, we're just going to go through our basic recipe, okay? All right, rubbing your sore spot and tap uh, or tapping on your karate chop, whichever way you feel comfortable doing it. Okay, just repeat after me. Even though I feel anxious about all my expenses. Even though I feel anxious about all my expenses. Okay, and my number is? My number is four. Oh, okay, and now if you have any body feelings when you think about your expenses, about money, and I feel it in my? I okay. I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself Excellent. Very good. Very good. So even though I feel anxious about all my expenses and I feel it in my... Even though I feel anxious about all my expenses, I feel it in my... Okay. I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Excellent. Very good. So even though I feel anxious about all my expenses and I feel it in my... Even though I feel anxious about all my expenses and I feel it in my chest. Very good. I choose to heal, release, and let go. I choose to heal, release, and let go. Okay, all anxiety about my expenses in my? All anxiety about my expenses in my shoulders. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Excellent. Very good. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do the reminder phrase. Okay. And we're going to start tapping. Okay. Uh, I feel anxious about all my expenses and I feel it in my. I feel anxious about all my expenses and I feel it in my shoulders. Very good. Eyebrow. All anxiety about, in my, uh, about my expenses in my. Yeah, like all my anxiety about my expenses in my shoulders. 
Okay, side of the eye. I feel anxious about all my expenses in my... I feel anxious about all my expenses in my shoulders. Okay, under the eye. I feel all anxiety about my expenses in my... All anxiety about my expenses in my shoulders. Okay, under the nose. I feel anxious about my expenses and I feel it in my... I feel anxious about my expenses and I feel it in my shoulders. Very good. Excellent. Under the mouth. All anxiety about my expenses in my? All anxiety about my expenses in my shoulders. Carla Bunn. I feel anxious about my expenses and I feel it in my? I feel anxious about my expenses and I feel it in my shoulders. Okay. Under the arm. All anxiety about my expenses in my? All anxiety about my expenses in my shoulders. Karate chop. So even though I feel anxious about my expenses and I feel it in my even though I feel anxious about my expenses and I feel it in my shoulders. Today, right now, I set a firm intention. Today, right now, I set a firm intention. To heal, release, and let go. To heal, release, and let go. All anxiety about my expenses in my all anxiety about my expenses in my shoulders. Okay. Very good. And uh, deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Excellent. Very good. Top of the head. I choose to heal, release, and let go. I choose to heal, release, and let go. All anxiety about my expenses in my? All anxiety about my expenses in my shoulders. Very good. Ibra, I deserve to heal, release, and let go. I deserve to heal, release, and let go. All anxiety about my expenses in my? All anxiety about my expenses in my neck. Very good. Sorry. I give myself permission to heal, release, and let go. I give myself permission to heal, release, and let go. All anxiety about my expenses in my? All anxiety about my expenses in my shoulders. Okay, under the eye, I am willing to heal, release, and let go. I am willing to heal, release, and let go. All anxiety about my expenses in my? All anxiety about my expenses in my shoulders. Okay, under the nose. It's safe for me to heal, release, and let go. It's safe for me to heal, release, and let go. All anxiety about my expenses in my? All anxiety about my expenses in my shoulders. Okay, very good. Under the mouth, I have the power to heal, release, and let go. I have the power to heal, release, and let go. All anxiety about my expenses in my? All anxiety about my expenses in my shoulders. Okay, very good. Collarbone. I like the way it feels when I heal, release, and let go. I like the way it feels when I heal, release, and let go. All anxiety about my expenses in my? All anxiety about my expenses in my shoulders. Okay, under the arm. It's easy for me to heal, release, and let go. It's easy for me to heal, release, and let go. All anxiety about my expenses in my? All anxiety about my expenses in my shoulders. Okay, karate chop. So even though I feel anxious about all my expenses and I feel it in my? Even though I feel anxious about all my expenses and I feel it in my shoulders. Okay, today right now I set a firm intention. Today right now I set a firm intention. To heal, release, and let go. To heal, release, and let go. All anxiety about my expenses in my? All anxiety about my expenses in my shoulders. Okay. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Okay. Top of the head. I uh, Letting go of all anxiety about my expenses in my? Letting go of all anxiety about my expenses in my shoulders. Okay. Eyebrow. Letting go. Letting go. Side of the eye, letting go. Letting go. Under the eye, letting go. Letting go. Under the nose, letting go. Letting go. Under the mouth, letting go. Letting go. Collarbone, letting go. Letting go. Under the arm, letting go. Letting go. Karate chop, letting go of all anxiety about my expenses in my. Letting go of all my anxiety about my expenses in my shoulders. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Excellent.
Very good. Now we're going to do the positive affirmations. Okay, top of the head. I love no, I love knowing I can feel calm about money. I love knowing I can feel calm about money. Okay. Eyebrow. I choose to feel relaxed and even though even though I have expenses. I feel I choose to feel relaxed even though I have expenses. Okay, side of the eye. It feels right to be free of this anxiety. Feels right. Under the eye, I appreciate how much I have changed. I appreciate how much I have changed. Under the nose, I love knowing I have resolved this conflict. I love knowing I have resolved this conflict. Okay, under the mouth, I choose to release this anxiety now. I choose to release anxiety now. Collarbone. It feels so right to be calm about my expenses. It feels so right to be calm about my expenses. On the arm. I love appreciating what I have. I love appreciating what I have. Hey, karate chop. I choose to feel relaxed even though I have these expenses. I choose to feel relaxed even though I have these expenses. Okay, so even though I had this anxiety uh, about about all my expenses, even though I have this anxiety about all my expenses, and I feel it in my, I feel it in my shoulders. Okay, today, right now, I set a firm intention. Today, right now, I set a firm intention to heal, release, and let go. All anxiety about my expenses in my. All anxiety about my expenses in my shoulders. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Okay, and now take a deep breath. And now release. Okay, and now, uh, like I said, uh, I'm gonna. I strongly recommend you guys doing this on a daily basis. We will be co developing a system where you guys can either download this or see this on a YouTube. Okay, and then you can just tap along. But if you do this every day, by next Sunday you will no longer have any anxiety about your expenses. Okay, so we're gonna each week we're gonna have a little theme or a topic. Okay. And uh, we'll be doing, a, you know, there'll be a specific tap that you can tap on every day, you know, besides the regular stuff, you know, the uh, the regular stuff that we're doing. OK, that's great. Tony. OK, so there'll be a little bit of structure. I want to keep it free form, but I also want to provide some structure and forward movement for everybody. OK. Mm -hmm. All righty. So. Uh, if anybody wants to check in now, the, now's the time. I'd love to, uh, you guys want to check in. Uh, again, the topic is using EFT and Law of Attraction to manifest prosperity, abundance, uh, success, etc. cetera. Uh, but, and you're welcome to check in, say hi, share what's, what's going on, uh, what you'd like to tap on, any particular issues you'd like to tap on tonight, uh, any synchronicities, challenges, victories, successes. Go ahead, please. Uh, yeah, I, I would like to just check in on on a uh, family vow that money is something very, very secret and very powerful and, and very, very dangerous. Secret, powerful, and dangerous. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty. Uh, I, I I can feel it. Whoa. <laughs> That's that's awesome. Okay, there's a, that's a family vow and a half. <laughs> oh. Yeah, awesome. Okay, thanks a lot. Maybe we'll figure out. We'll probably we'll try to do something with that one. Okay, anybody else want to check in? Say hi. Synchronicities, challenges. Uh, also, what you'd like to focus on or tap on tonight? Go ahead, please. Um, this is Linda. Hi, Linda. And, Welcome uh, aboard. Hi. Um, I guess uh, I don't really believe this myself, but uh, the family, you know, it's like that money is the root of all evil. Okay. And, you know, and I don't really want to think that way because I, 
I want to succeed, but uh, it's like in the back of my mind, kind of niggling at my brain. I hear you. Uh, absolutely. Well, of course, it's a misquote from the Bible. Did you know that? Uh, the the uh-huh. in in the Bible, it's the worship of money is the root of all evil. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it's been misquoted by clerics and by lots of other people, and it be it's become like an urban legend, you know, or truism. And you're absolutely right. When you're three years old and you're hearing grown ups and priests and you know what I mean, teachers saying this, it does make an impact. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And I, I totally agree with you. Uh, that's a very, very powerful self-limiting belief, family vow, or what have you. Okay. Excellent. Thanks for sharing that. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Anybody else want to check in? Uh, family vows. Uh, looks like we're zeroing in on family vows. But any self-limiting beliefs or just checking in how you've been, what you've been working on, what's going on, what you'd like to tap on. Go ahead, please. Okay. All righty. Well, I think we've got the, I think we're going to do family vow, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, and we got, we got a couple of hot, hot ones tonight. So uh, guys, anybody else, I, if, I hope you, you know, this is stuff you want to write down in your notebook. I hope you've all purchased a spiral notebook. Uh, I strongly recommend going to the dollar store or, you know, Walmarts or wherever, get yourself a $1 or $2, whatever, uh, student spiral notebook. And that's your EFT and law of attraction workbook in which you're going to put all kinds of stuff. Okay. You're going to put your gratitude list. You're going to put your cash and prizes gratitude list. Uh, you're going to put in uh, uh, self-limiting, self-sabotaging beliefs, your family vows, uh, you're also going to put in your Monster Hall of Pain, Hall of Pain, Monster Hall of Fame, uh, and uh, yeah, that's funny, uh, you know, and other stuff. Also, you're going to put in your positive movies, your visions, your prosperity and abundance movies as well. So there's good stuff too to put in there, but you definitely want to write all this stuff uh, down. And as soon as it comes to you, as soon as it's, uh, you know, very often what happens with these. Uh, uh, self-limiting, self-sabotaging beliefs, they pop out of the sidewalk and then they disappear. So you got to catch them while they're hot and write it down so that you know to tap on it because it's always lurking around in the subconscious. Uh, and it only kind of comes out of the closet every once in a while. And that's why you got to write it down, okay? Uh, I'm telling you, the people who make the most progress with my program are the people who do it systematically. And, you know, do have a little notebook, do this one step at a time, do everything systematically, have a daily practice. Those are the people who are knocking back the six figures, okay? All righty. Okay. Uh, so let's, uh, let's just uh, rub your sore spot. And again, uh, I love uh, both Lindas. I uh, guess you guys are on some, not only you have the same name, but you got similar, uh, uh, probably the same family, who knows? Uh, anyway... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, uh, whatever your your self-limiting belief is, okay, or whatever your family vow is, okay, we're going to use the one-size-fits-all tap, all right? All right, and so just repeat, just again, uh, on the level of intensity of that family vow, uh, Linda 1, uh, <laughs> uh, Lin- Linda M, go ahead. What's your what's the level of intensity of that family vow? 10. Okay. <laughs> okay, and now Linda, I don't know the last initial, but Linda in the south there, go ahead. Linda yeah. South. Uh, um, it's um, Bob and Ron. Okay, awesome. Okay. All right. So now uh, what we're going to do is rub your sore spot or tap on your karate chop and just repeat after me. Even though I've got this self-liberty, this family vow that, okay, go ahead. Even though I have this family vow that, go ahead. That money is evil. That money is dangerous, secret, and uh, I've forgotten the other one. 
Okay, doesn't matter. It's good enough. It's pretty powerful. Uh, okay, and my number is? My number is 10. Okay, um, I deeply, and come on, everybody, whatever you're, uh, there's okay. a bunch of people on tonight, whatever your family vows are, whatever your uh, self-limiting beliefs are, Okay, bring them out of the closet, okay? I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Excellent. Very good. So even though I've got this family vow or self-limiting belief that? Even though I've got this family vow that money is dangerous and secret. Very good. I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Excellent. So even though I have this family vow, self-limiting belief that? Even though I've got this family vow, self-limiting belief that money is hidden and dangerous. Okay. I choose to heal, release, and let go. I choose to heal, release, and let go. All family vow that? All family vow that money is dangerous secret. I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Excellent. Very good. Top of the head. All family vow, self-limiting belief that? All family vow, self-limiting belief that money is dangerous. Okay. Very good. Eyebrow. All family vow, self-limiting belief that? All family vow, self-limiting belief that money is dangerous. Okay, very good. Side of the eye. All family vow self-limiting belief that. Go ahead. All family vow self-limiting belief that money is dangerous. Okay, very good. Under the eye. All family vow self-limiting belief that. All family vow and self-limiting belief that money is dangerous and secret. Okay, under the nose. All family vow and self-limiting belief that. All family vow and self-limiting belief that money is dangerous and secret. Okay, very good. Under the mouth, all family vow and self-limiting belief that? All family vow and self-limiting belief that money is dangerous. Okay, very good. Collarbone, all family vow and self-limiting belief that? All family vow and self-limiting belief that money is dangerous and secret. Okay, under the arm, all family vow and self-limiting belief that? All family vow and self-limiting belief that money is Okay, karate chop. All family vow and self-limiting belief that. All family vow and self-limiting belief that money is dangerous. Okay, so even though I have this family vow and self-limiting belief that. Even though I have this family vow and self-limiting belief that money is dangerous. Very good. Today, right now, I set a firm intention. Today, to heal, release, and let go all family vow and self-limiting belief that. To heal, release, and let go all family vow and belief that. Okay, very good. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Excellent. Let's go top of the head. Letting go of all family vow and self-limiting belief that. Letting go. Letting go of your family vow and self-limiting belief that money is dangerous and secret. Okay. Eyebrow, letting go. Letting go. Side of the eye, letting go. Letting go. Under the eye, letting go. Letting go. Under the nose, letting go. Letting go. Under the mouth, letting go. Letting go. Collarbone, letting go. Letting go. Under the arm, letting go. Letting go. Karate chop. Letting go of all family vow and self-limiting belief that. Letting go of all family vow and self-limiting belief that money is all powerful, secret, and dangerous. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Excellent. Very good. Okay, take a deep breath. <laughs> and now release. Okay, and uh, I think that's great work. I think the family vow and the self-limiting belief uh, 
type stuff uh, work is just as important as the uh, Monster Hall of Fame where we go through our money pain and our money traumas, okay? Because uh, these belief systems are really uh, deeply, deeply ingrained in us. And really, I mean, it's amazing how, you know, they control our behaviors today. I mean, even though, you know, we may have picked these things up while we were toddlers or, you know, six or seven years old or in, you know, Sunday school or whatever, you know, it's amazing. <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's uh, let's move along. Let's move along to a positive movie, okay? And this is where we uh, we're developing our vision or our script or our mind movie for prosperity and abundance. Now this can be okay. And again, this is stuff I want you writing down in your notebooks, okay? Uh, and it's an ongoing process of developing your visions and your goals. OK, these can be little tiny weenie goals or these can be big life changer goals. OK, it's up to you. My suggestion is start small. OK, and I like to divide up my goals into three categories. Uh, the first category I call the no brainers or the easy squeezy goals. These are the goals that are pretty much a done deal or said or yes, you know, but I'm the one who's procrastinating. I'm the one who hasn't rolled out of bed and gone and done them. You know what I mean? And so what I do is I focus on those first. Do the no-brainers first. Do the easy squeezy goals first. All right. A pile up some easy victories. That builds up self-confidence. It gets your juices moving. It gets you out of your comfort. So it gets you moving. It gets your life moving. All right. The next category I call the uh, maybes or the, uh, you know, uh, they uh, basically they require the participation of other people. Maybe I'm waiting for somebody's permission or a license or a consent or something. I'm I'm waiting on something else uh, for this to happen. Okay, uh, so it's it's uh, it's not in, it's not totally in my hands. It's not totally in my control. So that's what I call the maybes. Okay, the next category is I call the impossible dream or never in a million years, okay? And these are the, you know, these are dreams I've always wanted, things I've always wanted to do, but of course, you know, whenever I thought about it, I go, oh, I'll never be able to do this, Ugh, you know what I mean? Um, here's the interesting thing that happens. When you start working through your no-brainers, okay, and you start cleaning up the no-brainers, the easy squeezy goals or, you know, of whatever you want to call projects or visions, uh, the maybes become no brainers. Okay. And the impossible dream or the never in a million years goals become maybes. And that's pretty awesome. So that's why I suggest you write your goals down. Uh, and then, you know, keep, keep, keep score, see how they, how they manifest in your life. Now, what we do is we take one of these goals. All right. And then we start filling in the details. We make a script or a movie about it, okay, or a storyboard or an outline or a bullet point, okay? Uh, the law of attraction people, you know, they make up these uh, uh, vision boards, okay? They cut up pictures from magazines and they make a collage. That's fine, too, if that's what you want to do. I just make a little list. I just make a little kind of a, an outline type list. I fill it in, okay? And it's okay to put a deadline, a date. It's all right to put dollars and cents. It's all right to put names of other people. It's it's whatever. It's your movie, okay? It's your prosperity and abundance movie, okay? And uh, you can make it as big or as little as you want. My opinion is uh, start small first, okay? Uh, often a big goal, in fact, is lots of little goals added up together, okay? So, uh, so my suggestion, anybody starting out with this work, uh, you know, start small, pile up some small victories before you, you know, climb Mount Everest. All righty. So again, rub your sore spot. Okay. And I want you to run your, your mind movie, your prosperity and abundance movie, whatever it is. Okay. And I want you to get in touch with, you know, if it's dollars and cents, uh, if there's a deadline, a date, uh, uh, also, it involves other people. Also, how you're going to feel, how it's going to make you feel good and empowered and actualized and successful and abundant, okay? Get into those feelings. Connect with those feelings while you're running this movie. So again, rub your sore spot, run your prosperity and abundance movie, and when you're done, say stop. Go ahead, please. So, okay. 
Okay. Okay. Okay. Is that everybody? Okay. All right. So what I'd like you guys to do, okay, is to uh, just repeat after me, Simon says, okay, still rubbing the sore spot. Okay. Even though I have this prosperity and success movie. Even though I have this prosperity and success movie. I choose to allow the universe. I choose to allow the universe. To manifest this movie in my life. Manifest this movie in my life. In the best possible way and for the greatest good. In the best possible way and for the greatest good. And I align myself with the universe so this can come to pass. And I align myself with the universe so this can come to pass. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Excellent. Very good. So even though I have this prosperity and success movie... Even though I have this prosperity and success movie. I set a firm intention. I set a firm intention. To allow the universe to manifest this movie in my life. To allow the universe to manifest this movie in my life. In the best possible way and for the greatest good. In the best possible way and for the greatest good. And I align myself with the universe so this can come to pass. And I align myself with the universe so this can come to pass. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Excellent. So even though I have this prosperity and success movie. Even though I have this prosperity and success movie. Today, right now, mm -hmm. I set a firm intention. Today, right now, I set a firm intention. To allow the universe to manifest this movie in my life. To allow the universe to manifest this movie in my life. In the best possible way and for the greatest good. In the best possible way and for the greatest good. And I align myself with the universe so this can come to pass. And I align myself with the universe so this can come to pass. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Excellent. Very good. Awesome. Now let's go top of the head. I choose to allow the universe to manifest this movie in my life. I choose to allow the universe to manifest this movie in my life. Very good. Eyebrow. I deserve to allow the universe to manifest this movie in my life. I choose to allow the universe to manifest this movie in my life. So I, I give myself permission to allow the universe to manifest this movie in my life. I give myself permission to allow the universe to manifest this movie in my life. I, I am willing to allow the universe to manifest this movie in my life. I am willing to allow the universe to manifest this movie in my life. Knows. It's safe for me to allow the universe to manifest this movie in my life. It's safe for me to allow the universe to manifest this movie in my life. Very good. Under the mouth, I have the power to allow the universe to manifest this movie in my life. I have the power to allow the universe to manifest this movie in my life. Collarbone. I like the way it feels when I allow the universe to manifest this movie in my life. I like the way it feels when I allow the universe to manifest this movie in my life. On the arm. It's easy for me to allow the universe to manifest this movie in my life. It's easy for me to allow the universe to manifest this movie in my life. Very good. Karate chop. So even though I have this prosperity and abundance movie... Yeah. Prosperity and abundance movie. Today, right now, I set a firm intention. Today, right now, I set a firm intention. To allow the universe to manifest this movie in my life. To allow the universe to manifest this movie in my life. In the best possible way and for the greatest good. The best possible way and for the greatest good. And I align myself with the universe so this can come to pass. I align myself with the universe so this can come to pass. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Excellent. Very good. You guys are doing great. Take a deep breath. And now release. And now I want you to rub your sore spot. 
and run the prosperity and abundance movie again. And when you're done, say stop. Okay. Stop. Okay. Stop. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, there you go. Now, I suggest you guys run that movie. If you can't do it daily, then do it every other day. Uh, and if you can't do that, try to do it more than once a week. Because the whole way this works is by when we do this, we're actually pulling energy in from the universe. We're creating this vortex of intention. And if we pull in enough energy, it hits critical mass, and this thing starts to manifest. Okay, if you're doing it once a month, it's going to take a lot longer than if you're doing it every day, obviously. And, of course, if you're doing it once a week, it's going to take a lot longer than, you know, you know what I'm saying. The more you do it, the more faster, better it starts to happen, okay? Uh, so there you go. All right, guys, I think we've had a great workshop. Uh, as I said, we're going to start a new program that there's going to be a flavor of the week tap every week uh included in our uh sunday night workshop uh this will be recorded it will be recording the recordings will be available uh if you're interested in the recordings you need to contact me either via facebook or email or somehow okay uh and like i said it's going to be a it's going to be a project that's going to go on for 50 weeks uh wow. and each week each week will be a different theme about prosperity, abundance, and success. Now, there will be a little, a minor charge, a minor, a minor charge in terms of for down. If you want to download uh, the the recordings of the sessions, okay, uh, you're perfectly. You know, the the workshops will always remain free, but if you want a uh, a recording, uh, because it involves a lot of work on my part. Uh, and finagling and hustling and doing this and that, there will be a nominal charge. It will be affordable, but it will be a, a little charge. A number of people always ask me, can I have a recording? Can I have a recording? When I have time to do it, I do. But I finally made a decision, which is, well, it's a lot of work. If you want a recording, uh, and I, I definitely think it's a good thing to have, but I should get paid for it because it is a lot of work to do it. I will make it affordable. And you'll all know about it next week. I'll have it all set up. It'll be done through PayPal. And then you can download it. And like already some of my clients already put their stuff on their iPhones or their MP3 players. And they, you know, play and tap on it every day anyway. So this is this is something I've been doing for the last couple of years unofficially. But now it's official. And so uh, what I'm, like I said, from now on, the, you know, the, the workshops are still free. But the recordings, I'm going to charge a nominal fee for, okay? Mm -hmm. And like I said, uh, you want to collect them because uh, each week will be a different theme, all right? And mm -hmm. uh, so there you go, guys. I love you all. Uh, have, uh, we're mm -hmm. going to do an abundance tap, okay? And that uh, will wrap it up. So rubbing, uh, rubbing your sore spot or tapping on your karate mm -hmm. chop, just repeat after me. Even though I have been allowing the universe. Even though I have been allowing. To manifest some abundance in my life, I choose to allow the universe to manifest even more abundance in my life. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Okay, so even though I have been allowing the universe to manifest some abundance into my life, I set a firm intention to allow the universe to manifest even more abundance in my life. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. And I do think of Excellent. So even though I have been allowing the universe to manifest some abundance in my life, even though I have been allowing the universe to manifest 
some of them is right. Okay, very good. Today, right now, I set a firm intention. Today, right now, a firm intention. To allow the universe to manifest even more abundance in my life. To allow the universe to manifest even more abundance in my life. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. Excellent. We're going to start tapping on the karate chop. Today, right now, mm -hmm. I set a firm intention. Okay, top of the head. To, al to allow the universe to manifest even more abundance in my life. I brought even more abundance of love. Even more abundance of happiness. Even more abundance of happiness. Even more abundance of good good health. Even more abundance of good health. I don't know. Even more abundance of financial prosperity. Even more abundance of financial prosperity. Out of the mouth. Even more abundance of artistic creativity. Even more abundance of artistic creativity. Collarbone. Even more abundance of good friends. Even more, abundance. Even more abundance of all the good things I really need. Even more abundance of all the good things. Very good. Karate chop. So today, right now, I set a firm intention. So today, right now, I set a firm intention. Okay, top of the head. To allow the universe to manifest even more abundance in my life. To allow the universe to manifest even more abundance in my life. I brought even more abundance of love. Even more abundance of love. I have even more abundance of happiness. Even more abundance of happiness. Under the eye, even more abundance of good health. Even more abundance of good health. Under the nose, even more abundance of financial prosperity. Even more abundance of financial prosperity. Under the mouth, even more abundance of artistic creativity. Even more abundance of creativity. Collarbone, even more abundance of good friends. Even more abundance of good friends. Under the even more abundance of all the good things I really need. Even more abundance. chop. So today, right now, I set a firm intention. So today, right now, I set a firm intention. Top of the head. To allow the universe to manifest even more abundance in my life. To allow the universe to manifest even more abundance in my life. I even more abundance of love. Even more abundance of love. Even more abundance of happiness. Even more abundance of happiness. And there even more abundance of good health. Even more abundance of Even more abundance of financial prosperity. Even more abundance of artistic creativity. Even more abundance of artistic creativity. Even more abundance of good friends. Even more abundance of good friends. Even more abundance of all the good things I really need. Even more abundance of all the good things I really need. chop. And I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself anyway. <clears throat> Excellent. Very good. Let's all take a deep breath. And now release. Okay, guys. Uh, it's a wrap. I want to thank you all. I love you all. Uh, thanks for showing up tonight. Now, I got a special announcement for tomorrow. We will be on at 10 o'clock, uh, you know, our usual phone call. However, at the Kingston Workshop, Free pie to everybody who shows up. Free pie at the I love King, it. six o'clock <laughs> Kingston workshop, uh, six o'clock, thirty four North Front Street, uh, and, and it's uh, it's upstairs, and there's free pie, <laughs> EFT and pie. <laughs> Whose birthday is it? <laughs> it's a new Who's deal. Whose birthday is it? This is the new EFT deal. Ah. Yeah. Tapping and pie, love it. Tapping and pie, the pie of tapping. <laughs> tapping into the pie. Tapping into the Ooh, pie. Oh, there we go. Love it. <laughs> so love you all. Have a wonderful night. Sleep time. Thanks, Tony. Have a Thank prosperous, you. abundant, love-filled week. I love you all. God, God bless. Those of okay. us in California will just imagine the pie. There you go. Take care. Bye-bye. Good night, love everybody. You. Good night. Good night.